All right, guys, it's now time to take a look at the second piece of NASCAR news that came out earlier today, and it's regarding Daniel Suarez. He's officially found a ride for next season. And what's that ride? Trackhouse Racing. Yep, that's right. It's a new NASCAR team. And what's the car? It's a Chevrolet. The number 99 Chevrolet Camaro, that is. And um, based on the paint scheme that I've seen online, well, it's giving everybody a bunch of Carl Edwards vibes because it reminds them of his Fastenal Ford. We all remember that paint scheme, don't we? Um, what else? The last team to use the number 99 was, I believe, Starcom Racing, but on a part-time basis back in, I think, 2018. Yeah, I think 2018. So, yeah. But anyways, I'm going to read the article here from Jayski's website. I'll put a link down below in the description, and you guys can go from there. But anyways, without further ado, um, here's what the article says. Trackhouse Entertainment Group announced Wednesday the formation of a new NASCAR Cup Series team that will make its on-track debut at the 2021 Daytona 500. Piloting the number 99 Chevy Camaro ZL1 will be 2016 Xfinity Series champion and NASCAR Cup Series veteran Daniel Suarez. The Trackhouse Racing Team has entered into an embedded operational alliance with RCR that enables Trackhouse to utilize the technology, intellectual property, human capital, and engineering developed over decades of championship caliber competition. Trackhouse will be powered by ECR Engines, which recently announced a merged research and development partnership with Chevrolet Powerhouse Hendrick Motorsports. The formation of a top-level NASCAR Cup Series team has been a dream of mine for a long time, said Justin Marks, founder and owner of Trackhouse Entertainment Group. A lot of hard work has transpired us to get us to this point, and I don't think we could have ended up with better partners in RCR and Chevrolet and with a more passionate and committed driver than Daniel Suarez. Daniel's drive and hunger to get to the top of the sport is palpable every time I am in his presence. We are building a team of winners and Daniel has delivered just about every time he's sat in race winning equipment. It's my job now to put a car underneath him that will carry him to the highest echelon or echelon of the sport. Yeah, correct me if I said that right, but I'm not because I'm not perfect with saying certain things. But anyways, the rest says, A native of Monterey, Mexico, Suarez has proven his talents as a race car driver after moving to the United States from Mexico to pursue a career in NASCAR. He has had a career highlighted by wins in the NASCAR k and &E Series and the Truck Series and the Xfinity Series. After securing Rookie of the Year in 2015, Suarez brought home the 2016 Xfinity Series title, becoming NASCAR's first foreign-born National Series champion. In 138 Cup Series starts today, Suarez has secured 32 top 10 finishes, 8 top 5 finishes, and 2 poles. I see in Trackhouse a great opportunity for me with a very strong group of people that share the same vision, commitment, and goals that I have, Suarez said. Justin has been involved in the racing team, in the racing world, sorry, for over 20 years, and I understand the ins and outs of the sport, both as a driver and from the business side. I have learned a lot in the last few years and we've been very we have been very fortunate to put to be a part of very good organizations. I've learned that the sport is about people and I know where we are going to work very hard to put together a talented team. Furthermore, getting the support from a strong manufacturer like Chevrolet will be a key to our success. My goal is simple. I want to win races. NASCAR industry veteran Ty Norris will serve as president of racing operations. He brings a wealth of knowledge and experience to Trackhouse after serving as executive vice president and general manager of both Dale of DEI and Michael Waltrip Racing. The Trackhouse Racing team enters the sport during a transitional time in NASCAR. Central to the Trackhouse Racing team is a commitment to making an impact on youth in America's minority communities through a sizable contribution from the Marks Family Foundation, as well as support from the team's partners. Trackhouse will design and execute an immersive STEM education initiative aimed at exposing America's underrepresented youth to career opportunities in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Using the spectacle of NASCAR racing as a curriculum platform, 
Track House will work with school districts, community organizations, youth groups to build the most impactful roadmap to, for those who are inspired to pursue STEM careers. As Track House builds a competitive framework for 2021, announcements regarding partners and key personnel will be forthcoming. Alrighty, um, I see that they want to help out certain communities here in America through STEM, and I think that's a very good um, a good move on their part. But as far as the team's concerned, well, what are my expectations? Well, I expect them to do um to um try the best as possible. I know not every small team is perfect, um, but um. Yeah, I just expect them to do well. And um, considering the fact that they're a Chevrolet team and they're partnering up with um, ECR and all that, um, yeah, it's it's going to be an interesting season next year for Trackhouse. And if you guys thought Silly Season hasn't gotten crazy, well, just got crazier, especially with this move. Do I expect the this team to be long-term? I just cross my fingers and hope so. As for Daniel Suarez, I expect him to do well, not tear up many cars. I know some haters are probably going to say, oh, this team's going to be sucky next year. I'm like, yeah, 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 whatever, whatever. But hey, it's a small team. What do you expect them to do? Be perfect in every single race? No. But on, but bottom line, I expect Daniel Suarez to do well, especially for a small team like this. Um, I hope they can make something happen, not be a disappointment. Sorry if I sound like I am repeating myself, but I'm trying to make a point here. And for their work with STEM, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, that's a good move. They can help get more youth into the sport, and that's what we need right now, especially during this time in NASCAR with everything going on and all that. I I just hope they can do something and make some good uses from this. But anyways, that will do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And I'll be happy to read them as always. And with that, thank you guys for watching. This has been Chase Fan Number 9 here. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Make sure to hit the bell down below to get notifications for all my videos. Go hit that like button and follow me on Twitter at ChaseFan underscore 9. With that, I'll see you on my next video. And until then, have a good one. Stay safe, everybody. All right. Bye-bye.